Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 136. NASDAQ is up 43. s and is up 16. You get quad witching. You get all-time highs in the S&P, NASDAQ, and the X100, as well as the Dow Industrials. And you're going to have volume in this market, folks. You can expect they're going to run this market right up into the close. The machines are going bye, bye, bye. Gold. Gold contract down $2.30, trading at 1482 we get silver up nine cents, seventeen dollars twenty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off eighty-two cents, sixty dollars thirty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds now. Notes and bonds. This is pretty amazing, actually. Ten-year note down two ticks, one twenty-eight oh seven. Thirty-year flat at one fifty-six oh nine. Now, if we get over and take a look at these, picture this: you you have the markets at all-time highs. We have come down inside the note and bond market. Tested the lows of the strength that was established out here last week, as well as your downdraft that had been on November 7th. Yesterday, you rejected lower price. You had lighter volume. Today, guess what? You even loved lighter volume. Came down to that level again, rejected lower price again. That is still saying that notes, as well as bonds, want higher price, lower yield. If we go over and take a look at the TLT, if you're in the equity market and you just have the, uh, you just don't have the futures. Bottom line, you're going to see the same setup inside the equity market. In fact, the, um, the TLT right now is trading at 136.59, and you're going to see it come down. Wanted to test that low of 134.45, 63 million shares rejected it with 31 million. It's pretty amazing. I mean, and the amazing part, of course, is that you're at all-time highs, and they still can't take bonds south. That is saying that interest rates are still going to stay low. King dollar. What do we have a king dollar? King dollar is back inside its higher trading range. King dollar right now is trading at 97.685. Bottom line, we'll see uh, how this uh, works out. The lower trading range is the 97.141. And uh, bottom line, when it got back inside that lower trading range, that was all about the pound. Uh, pound had gone from 130 to 135 when Boris Johnson got elected. Uh, bottom line, this pound is at 130, and it actually looks like it wants to go down to 129. So I expect that doll is going to get a little more selling pressure. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back for the next hour of trading. You'll get a little volatility into the close, but that volatility this time, I suspect, is going to be driving that S&P up to the spike high that we had this morning. Come right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you.